Hello guys! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create automotive visualization like this in Keyshot. In the first part we are going to create materials and in the second part we are going to create lightning. If you want to download this 3D model visit my Patreon page, link is in the description. So let's render. First step is to import our 3D model. So click on this button import and I'm just going to open this FBX file type. And this is how it looks in the key shot. Now let's create the new camera view. But before that, I'm just going to scale this car to be a little bit bigger. Snap the ground and center. All right. I'm going to the camera tab, add new camera. I'm going to change the name to main camera. And I'm just going to find something a little bit nicer. I'm going to use this focal length 50 millimeter, which is standard for automotive renders. And I'm going to turn on this grid to make sure this is exactly in the middle. So something like this. And I'm just going to play with these sliders. So maybe like this. All right. I'm also going to use this twist just a little bit. All right, maybe like this. And also I'm going to use this inclination. All right, this is really nice. And I'm just going to use this distance volume. All right, and maybe a little bit more up like this all right and i'm just going to save this camera and log this camera position and i'm going back to my free camera view i'm going to turn off this quarters grid and now we can rotate around this car so this is how we can set up the camera now we are going to the environment tab and we are going to the environment tab right here as well we are going to click on the studio and we are going to use the startup contrast 4k this is like the basic lightning environment in the key shot so we are just going to drag and drop all right we are going to use the background color and we can choose whatever we need but we are going to use the white and we are also going to turn on this occlusion ground shadow and you can see the shadow is much more darker which is also nice and we are going to change this name to the preview environment. And this environment or this lightning is just going to help us create the materials. And then we are going to create the final lightning. So let's create our first material. And the first material will be the car paint. So I'm going to the material tab. I'm going to the paint metallic. And I'm going to use this black metallic. Just drag and drop. Double click on the material to edit this material, make this uh, base color completely black. I'm going to bring, bring this reflective color to a little bit more white. All right. And I'm just going to also change this value. So maybe like this. All right. This is good. And also I'm going to change this color to make it a little bit more darker. So maybe like this. And also I'm going to change this refractive index. If I bring this slider completely to the right side, the car will be much more metallic. If I bring this slider a little bit to the left, the car will look more like a plastic. But I'm going to use something, something like 1.6. All right, this looks nice. And now I'm going to find the tire material. So I'm going to the plastic, basic, and I'm just going to find it. All right, here it is, tire, just drag and drop this tire material. Double click on this tire. And we are going to change this tire to be a little bit more shiny. So something like this. And also I'm going to bring this value completely down and this value, something to like this. All right. I'm going to the camera tab. I'm going to click on this free camera. I'm just going to make it a little bit more closer and I'm going to find the Chrome polish it. And 
aluminium, no chrome, basic, polish, just drag and drop to this. All right. This looks nice. And I'm going to use for this bottom part something like plastic. So I'm going to use... Actually, I'm going to use this paint rough black. So just drag and drop. Double click on this material, make it completely black. And I'm going to make it a little bit more darker, something to like this. All right. Maybe like this. This is good. Now I'm going to find again chrome, but we are now going to use the rough chrome material. So I'm just going to click on this and just drag and drop, double click on this and make it a little bit more shiny. All right. Now I'm going to find the glass material and I'm going to use the glass basic. All right. So glass basic and I'm going to use the gray material. So glass basic gray, just drag and drop, double click on this material and we are going to make it a little bit more darker, something like this. All right. This looks nice. We need also material for this grill right here or the or this mesh. So I'm going to find the again chrome material, chrome basic, and I'm just going to drag and drop this shiny chrome. All right. This looks nice. Now I'm going to work on this front of the car. So I'm going to click on this part right here. And I'm going to click on my right mouse button and I'm going to click on this handling material. Double click on this material and I'm just going to make it a little bit more rough. So something like this. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to find the glass, solid glass, and just drag and drop. Right side, uh, right button on my mouse, hide part, and again, just drag and drop. Or actually, I'm going to click, drag and drop. All right. Again, hide part, click on this, and this is all right, and I'm going to click on this. And I'm just going to use the Chrome Basic Rough Material. All right. And show all parts. So let's work on this material a little bit more. So I'm going to click on this, click on this part, and I'm going to the tools. Split separate object. I'm going to click on this one, split object and apply. All right. Now I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to the texture. I'm going to choose this bump map and I'm going to use the part. All right. So it looks really good. And I'm just going to click on this and this properties and link material together. All right, so this is how we can create these headlamps. Now we can start working on these Bugatti logo. So I'm just going to click on this and just drag and drop this Chrome rough material, double click, and we are going to use the color. We are going to use this color as texture. And I'm going to also make it a little bit more shiny. I'm going to use the planner mapping type, use the part, move texture. We are going to use these axes and we are going to rotate the angle, flip horizontal line and turn off this repeat, make this texture a little bit more vivid. You can see how it's changing. We are going to use the two value and also a little bit more contrast, something to like this. This is nice. 
Okay, we are going to apply another material, so I'm going to click on this. On this plane behind the grill, I'm also going to click on this. And actually, I'm also going to click on this bottom. Also on these uh, exhaust pipes. And all right, and I'm going to use something like paint mate. All right. Double click on this material and we are going to make it a little bit more like this. Actually, this is all right. Maybe a little bit more shiny like this. So it looks more like metal and I'm going to unlink this material. Double click on this and this will be much more rough. And I'm going to make it much more darker, something to like this. All right. Maybe even more. This is good. Now I'm going to work on these back uh, taillights. So we need glass red. So I'm going to the glass folder and I'm going to use glass basic red all right drag and drop hide this part or selection and i'm going to double click on this okay i'm going to stick with this measure i'm going to select this And check again material all right i'm going to stick with this basic measured material so show all parts all right these are our tail lights i'm just going to check if i don't forgot any materials all right this looks good all right i'm going back to my camera and now we are going to work on these interior materials. So back to free camera and I'm just going to the interior. All right. And I'm just going to find Senegal material, Senegal brick. If you don't have this material, you can download it from cloud library. And the name of this material is Senegal brick. 30119. So just drag and drop. Again, drag and drop. Yes, we want to combine these materials. All right. Drag and drop. And actually, I'm going to check if I don't forget anything. All right. This looks good. So, and I'm going to use for these uh, dials just simple plastic material because I'm not going to render interior. So I'm just going to the plastic and I'm going to use the rubber drag and drop. Also for these, I'm just going to use the rubber. Okay. So I'm going to check if it looks good. So this is how it looks with all the materials. So I'm going back to my main camera. I'm going to the lightning tab. I'm going to change this lightning preset to product. I'm going to turn off this ground illumination. So we got back this black sharp shadow. All right, boys, the part number one is over. There is also coming the part number two. In the part number two, we are going to finish these renders. We are going to create custom lightning to achieve even more realistic results. If you want to support me, hit the like button and subscribe button. And if you want to download this 3D model or 3D scene, visit my Patreon page. Link is in the description. And I hope I see you in the next one. Have a nice day and have a nice render. Bye bye.